Good evening, no, good afternoon, <laughs> even, and welcome to Word for the Day with me and Bam Bam. Bam Bam, say hello to the camera. He's not going to do anything. Um, what I thought I would do um, this afternoon and for the next uh, two days, are you tired, um, is just reflect on this time that we're in uh, at the start of, well, end of November, start of December, where essentially... Um, I hate this time of year and I thought I'd share with you kind of some of the things that I do to kind of help me get through it as it were. And the reason I hate it is that it gets cold no matter how much I know um, the car needs de-icing every morning and I always forget that I need to plan time for that. It gets dark quickly so I wake up it's dark I go to sleep and it's dark and it just feels as though life becomes harder at this time of year and you kind of go, I wonder, well, what do I do? How do I kind of keep buoyant in these dark times? Well, um, for me, it's firstly around just getting your jumpers out. And making sure that you keep warm in different ways, shapes and forms. It's around snuggling with Bam Bam, although he's just abandoned me because um, Katie's moved upstairs. Um, and also it's around knowing that this doesn't last forever, that spring is on its way. And actually at this time of year, lots of plants and trees and everything spend the time building their root structure underground and maybe that's what we need to do as people too so that's why I get some good books to read I get some good models for the train set to make and I'm making one just behind the camera as we speak and it's around huddling together uh, whether physically or virtually with those whom we love and then soon Christmas will come with its lights and decoration to bring us joy in the depths of the darkness of winter. There you go. Well, stick in there and let's see each other soon, whether it's at church or out and about. And we'll have some fun together, no doubt. Uh, but don't be down uh, heartened too much by the weather and the darkness it's passing. We don't live in places that are dark for most of the year, thank heavens. And what a miserable time they must have. Uh, do join me later tonight at 8 o'clock for night prayer. And then I'll be back tomorrow with some more top tips on dealing with darkness and misery and winter, basically. <laughs> Take care. See you soon.